Alright guys, so uh, welcome back to my LP and uh, today we are continuing on building the animal farm so yeah I haven't done much off camera, all I've done was well, all, I, all I have done is fill the edges with wood to make it look a bit neat because to be honest it's just you don't want to see me do that for about an hour do you and I made this too wide. I, s I said I was going to make it four wide, but all the other ones are too wide. So I was thinking, why would I have a big gap when I could just have two? Because two blocks is actually quite a large space. So, anyways, yes, it's all good. And what am I going to do? Oh yes, this is the level where it's going to flatten out. So I'm not going to add any more stairs down. It's going to be just at this level the whole way. It's going to be quite hard to mine up there. See, because I need it to be at this height the whole way through it. Well, I don't need it to be. But it's, it looks so much better if it is at this height. And I'll explain to you what I'm planning to do with it all. While I'm mining. So, yeah. <laughs> but, what my plans were, I, I touched on this briefly I think on the last episode but what I wanted to do was um, what I want to do on it is build a big dome type area like it's gonna be quite big it's gonna take up the whole side of this part of the mountain like not that part of the mountain but like the mountain built in this way and what's gonna have is it's gonna have a light blue wool covering it so it's gonna look a bit like sky and um, okay, it's gonna be a bit like an almost like a nature reserve, but it trust me, it sounds quite nerdy, yeah, probably, but it is a good idea. Just just trust me, just trust my with my my idea skills. Something no one's ever done before. And also for lighting, I want to c try and keep lighting to a minimum, as not like I want it to be bright, but. I don't want to have torches everywhere and so one of my big plans were to use the same idea of my glowing hedge up there which wasn't my idea but you know what I mean but I could use um, the same effect on a glowing tree so basically the trees would be producing the light except they don't look like they're producing the light so that's my hope my main worry is that that won't be bright enough though and most of the light will still be dominated. Uh, most of the light will not be lit up. Is the word I'm trying to find out. Trying to find. So, yep. I'm gonna make this maybe. Let's see. F a five wide bit, maybe just for this bit. Then I'm gonna start on the dome itself. But we're not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this episode or not. I'll decide when I get there. So yeah. Anyways. Oh, another thing was I think I said I was going to do Assassin's Creep as an adventure map. Well, I I do remember mentioning it actually, but, and I've kind of changed my mind because um, I finished off Cuban today, or well. Yeah, it was kind of today, technically speaking, because it was like four in the morning when I finished it. But I finished it, and uh, I started. I decided like I might as well just start this Assassin's Creed to see if I'm in good. And pretty much, as you know, I feel at parkour, and it's all right in small amounts. But that was a map purely based around parkouring, and it was just pretty much me feeling epically and not being able to speak about anything so I was trying to concentrate and uh, it just, I don't know, it didn't seem that fun to watch so obviously parkour maps are not big on me and also I was planning to uh, do some more of the skyblock map and uh, I don't know, something about I just don't find it that fun to record like, I'm not saying I'm not finishing it off either, I, I do finish off what I start, but, uh, 
I just feel like I just, like stop doing challenge maps as such. I still like the adventure map. Cubank, I love doing. So outclass was adventure maps. I'm doing those. I want to do deep space turtle chase thing when it comes out, which is if you don't know Captain Sparkly's map. Oh, can I break that? Oh, I saw a little break of motion there. Oh, you see, you see? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, but of course I can't actually break that side. Oh, another thing is, uh, Minecraft is seeming to become amazing over the last couple of updates. Not sure how strange that sounded. But it actually does. No, I look quite. It it's literally pretty much turned into an RPG game over two updates. Cause I mean, you got your dragons, you got your potions, and you got your more like better adventure modes. I mean, you could easily see this going into an RPG game, but with still the Minecraft side. Also, something I really want to get into is uh, potions, because I think they look amazing, and I like the general idea of them. I've always liked kind of potions and stuff like that. So yeah, I really want to get into those, especially now that there's the um, splash potions when you add, I think it's uh, gunpowder the potion to any potion and it's like a water bomb almost and you throw it at your enemy and it affects them within a radius oh well and i found something cool with these uh, things here see they're all the way they're all the same way if i close it this way oh no okay then so if i do it this way it closes the opposite way then if i uh close it that way see what i mean and if i do it this way that. So I think that's pretty cool. Just find that out. And um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to do for that this episode. I know <laughs> I haven't really done much. It's only seven minutes spent doing it. Farm it is going good. I'm right now I'm just sort of trying to get enough seeds to do it. Unfortunately, there are this couple of spots where, like there, it just, I don't know, it refuses to let me place a seed there and there and there. I'm not sure what to do with that. I'm pretty sure it's just a glitch. I might as well actually try and look that up. And I still can't place one there. Like, look about there. Sh I tried that. I don't know. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Although, oh, do I want it to do? Which I'm not sure if this will classify under copying or anything, but if you ever play one of Vex's maps, he has a victory trophy. One second. And um, yeah, so his his victory monument. I'm rambling again, aren't I? Yeah, sorry. He made his victory monument. And I was thinking I could use it sort of as a challenge thing. Mr. Sneaky Moo did it recently, and everyone seems to be fine with him doing it. Well, he's calling it the Woolnator. I can, I want to come up with my own name for it. Definitely, I'm not just going to call it the like Victory Monument or the Woolnator. But uh, yeah, sorry. I just noticed something very weird. You can see right through that door rock, but there's a there's a thing there. That's cool. Sorry, I'm noticing all these weird things. But um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but I think it would be good. And I have to collect all the wool colours legitly. So, I mean, I can use dyes, but for the I have to collect each colour the hardest way possible. For example, pink wool, I can't just use pink dye. It's too easy to get pink dye, so I have to get it off a sheep. And it's not going to be like a long term thing when I'm going to spend all series doing it. It's only going to be about maybe three or four episodes. Except the pink, as it's going to be very hard to get the pink wool. But yeah. Whoops. What's I going to do? Oh yes, I was going to show you what I meant by the 
the uh, night light tree light things because I mean I know I explained it but you probably don't well some of you will understand what I'm talking about so you better take a couple because uh, I've got a lot of bones actually haven't I? oh also I need to make a bow I lost it mm, all my arrows yeah anyway hoping to make a good mob trap soon but I do warn you I am not good at making mob traps mob traps yes that's the kind of tree I wanted um, do I have pumpkins? no I do not I kinda like having that there it's almost like a guard it adds I, I love watching a world just sort of grow over time I don't know why just something about me like when I'm watching, if I see like a series on YouTube which I never have seen before, I nearly always watch like the newest episode before anything, and then if you know, it's been going on for ages, I like to watch the newest episode, and then I like to watch then from the start. And I like to see how he's changed things over time. I like to sort of recognize stuff. I know it's only been like one episode of watching something, but I do tend to recognize the things, and I think it's cool. What am I doing again? Pumpkin. I probably get, need to get some leaves as well because I'll be chopping down a couple. I can't actually show you its effects probably till night, which is quite a while, so midday. But as soon as it is night, as soon as it is night, I will show you. Mm, I'm going to have to. So basically, again, you put that piece of wood, put thing there, put that there, cover that, <coughs> cover that, oh, and just fill it in. It looks like a normal tree, and you can't really notice it right now because it's daytime, but it does produce light. I'll show you it later when it's night. Yo, know, it's the same way these don't look like they produce light. Anyway. It's just me or do these furnaces have a little, a little dip there? Well, it's obviously not just me because I do, but mm, texture mistake. Well, it's probably, if, I don't know, it could have been deliberate, I don't know. It may have been deliberate, it may not have been deliberate, but we will get going anyway. And I have an idea of what I want to build next. I want to kind of keep it a bit of a secret, but I may need to change a lot of this cobble into stone bricks. First of all, it actually saves a bit of space because uh, you need. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't save that much space. It saves a very tiny amount of space. It saves about a stack, maybe, for every five. I'm not, that's just a random gas pulled out of the air. I, I, it's probably wrong. Okay, let's at least change four of these into clean stone. And then I can get a st st four stacks of that going. Oh, yeah, I do tend to just waste all my coal in one big go. And I never really think about using it for lights. I just <laughs> do you ever just have weird things where you just place things in all the wrong order for no reason at all and you just do it and feel like weird I don't want that I, I have, sorry I have OCD over my screen so what do you want to do I, I kind of want to go to the nether do you think that will be a good idea Hmm. The nether does sound like a good idea. Do you want, yeah, let's do it. Let's get uh, prepare to go to the nether. I need to get a place to put the portal though. 
Because you want to be quite far away from the rest of your stuff because it makes this that weird sewing thing which no one likes and it's very annoying. Because it takes up so much sewing. And also, I want to wire this all up. I think I could do that this episode. What? How much redstone do I have? Forty-three. I'm sure I could. I'm not that. Well, uh, you know, um, some people may argue I'm good at redstone, but personally, I think I'm just average. So sorry if this is not the best way you can rewire a door. I think seven torches is decent. Like I know you don't need seven torches just to do a door and not seven <laughs> using all the torches. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Oh, is it my farm under here? No, my my farm's over there. Oh, I don't need that. Oh no. Okay, my farm is right there. Uh. I may not be able to wire this door anymore. Uh. Hmm. Awkward. See, cause I need. Th yeah, it's literally it's all the thing I need to. If the farm was only like one layer more down, I could do it and like drop my thing all the way over there. Okay, yeah. So I can't wire the door. But that doesn't really matter. I'm I'm not too fussed about opening double doors and stuff. <coughs> but if you don't know, you're supposed to make it so that this side is powered and that side isn't. It could be the other way around. Do not murder me if it is. Oh yes, it's turning night. I can show you the tree. I can show you the tree. I like that house. It just, I don't know, reminds me of the first episode. I just look up to it in admiration. Do do do. One thing we are feeling to do is diamond. We are in episode twelve, I believe. Yes, twelve. And uh, we don't even have diamond. Okay, here you go. No, yeah, okay. It's kind of nice. It's not really diamond, so I can't really show you. I honestly do think that looks amazing. Look up there. The big bit, especially with the orange sun set. Then it's just the fact that this bit comes out and looks kind of squared, and then that just drops. So you see that? That is a black sheep, not a cow. Someone thought that that was a cow. They look, thought cows looked like that. No, it's a black sheep. So yeah, there's a the golden tree. It's not amazing likeness, I know, but. Think about it. If you have about 50 trees and it's quite a packed, kind of packed, like, when I say packed, I mean like one here and maybe the next one would be there. It would provide quite good lighting. And I might have to keep that tree just, just like a glowing tree. I have this weird habit, like, I like things, I just like to keep them that way. Door! Every time. That's cool. Mm. That's cool. Sorry, I I just say that's cool to something with it. It's not really that cool. I just thought it looked cool with the way the doors were open like that. Oh, okay. So yes, nether room. Nether room. I'm just dawdling on. We've got ten minutes left. And I'm dawdling on. I think we should go to the nether next episode though. It's maybe not next episode, but I might prepare for it. Prepare. Preparation. Preparation. Or, oh, or, or, cactus farm. Oh, I completely forgot about these things. I said I was going to have a cactus farm in there and a reed farm in there, in like these room bits. Completely forgot about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do it. I'm going to do the cactus farm. I do have an idea for a reed farm, which is automatic, but I need some resources, which I do actually, to be fair, I do have the resources now. 
like 24 irons plenty to make plus 24 pistons so I do have the resources to make it now but I don't know it's, it takes quite a while because I need to build some stuff which doesn't take that long but I just don't really want to build it now sorry I'm kind of stretching right now because <laughs> I'm ash tired But my iron pick's almost done. That's why we need to get diamond stuff soon. Because I failed at doing the mine the other day. This is going to be automatic, by the way, this cactus. Mm -hmm. It's going to be automatic. See, this, this is sort of like a, a door and a half. Almost like a half door and a half. So it looks quite, very odd. It looks quite odd. It looks quite odd. But, yeah. It is quite the odd, is what I should say. I don't know why I should say that, but I just should. Sorry if it's dark, I actually better stick up a torch. See, the thing is, probably it wasn't even that dark. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 this is, this is this bit. Oh, hi, the thief. Yeah, I see these little jokes to myself, which you don't realise. Eh? But I realise. It's not actually that much of a joke, I just, I just remember how fun it was because I didn't have to mine this bit out when I was building the farm off camera. More useless cobble, which is kind of useless. Picks but to run out. Hmm. Do you want? I have a lot of stone picks lying around, which it's pointless having them around because I'm never going to use them. So I might as well just try and use them up now. So yeah, actually I might try and yeah. Okay, I might be using a lot of stone picks now, and I might just start trying to get rid of these stone items because uh, stone items. I think they're handy for what you get them for. I mean, like cobblestone, like pretty much that, and piece of wood. Um, that's a stone pick for me. And I've got things, so you know, it's a, they're handy for what they're for. But realistically, once you get quite into the game and you have loads of iron and stuff, you don't really need much pick or diamond. To be honest, I think iron's probably the handiest tool in the game. As in it provides the most interesting stuff. Like face it, you, without diamonds you can have, you know, you'll have no diamond armor and you'll have no diamond tools. Which are the best tools, but apart from that, realistically, what does diamond serve? Well, now, now, now you need it to build the enchantment table. And diamond blocks, what else does? But you know, it's, it's, diamond's not a necessity. You could, you could easily play this game without diamond iron. It would be quite a different game. You know, there'd be no minecarts, no pistons, no iron doors. What else is iron? Iron tools, iron armor. Okay, I can't think of anything else, but you know. <laughs> no. I'll feel. Although, to be fair, the stone, I mean. I literally, it was, it was full a couple of seconds ago and now it's like halfway down so it's not the best. Wood is just rubbish. Who uses wood? I think I used wood for quite a while but I, I don't, I didn't like using it. Like when I, when I started this series. I think I used it for like the first two or three episodes. No, I used it for the first two episodes, the third episode I had. I had stone stuff. It's just me, or does it look more convincing starting off an episode with a sword in your hand? I don't know why, it just always does. I don't always do it, that's not what I'm saying, but I just I don't know, it think more, it seems more convincing. Like, it kind of starts off the episode. Like, if I'm holding a pickaxe, you sort of think, it's going to be a stony picky day, if I'm holding an axe, I don't know what you think. You think I'm just 
Wooden and axe, I suppose. Axes. I think axes are probably one the most pointless out of all the tools because, I mean, it's not too hard to cut down wood. Yeah, I keep saying I mean for everything. I keep on repeating myself for everything. Okay, 16 minutes in. Yeah, so we're not going to go to the nether next. I do want to go to the nether soon, though. Don't get me wrong. Because as soon as I go to the nether, I can start making potions, pretty much. And I really want to get into that quite quickly. Because I have been playing around with them a little bit on creative mode. They're super fun, especially the splash potions. I am playing with 1.9.4. Pre-release four, whatever you want to call it. I think it's easier just to say one point nine point four. Awesome sounds better. So yeah, and it ran out. Anyways, I have to admit though, I, I am liking the new half an hour long episodes. I'm not sure what some people think about them. I suppose some people can sort of think half an hour is quite long. Well, you know, if you think it's long, just watch it in periods if you want. I don't really care how you watch this. I don't even care if you're not even watching it the first time. I mean, I know for a fact I'm always watching videos like sort of tabbed out while I'm doing something else. And to be honest, most of my worlds I've made in Minecraft are through me sort of half paying attention to a video. Because if I'm not either talking to someone about it, like this is why I like this sort of thing, so I get to talk while making it without sounding like a complete weirdo talking to myself. To well, I probably need to mine out this one more. Sorry, yeah, so. If I was just talking to myself, I'd sound like a complete weirdo, just talking. But no, no, it's fine because I'm um, um, talking to the YouTube community. So yeah. Also, Cake Defense, I've decided is officially going to be a time waster talking series. Oh, see, because the thing is, I'm, I was gonna, I'm always thinking like I could use it to talk about channel updates and stuff but to be honest I sort of accidentally without even thinking about it sort of do just talk about them here on my LP just not even thinking about it, I just create or tell you about stuff that's happening I'm gonna have to try and stop that I'm very bad at saying to this I'm always yabbering on yabbering is a proper word by the way official dictionary word but yes this is going to be completely automatic so I'm thinking I could sort of have it so that uh, this bit will be blocked off that bit will no I'll have um how am I going to do this actually I might keep it indent bit in the wall and I'll have a block if you know what I mean like behind where this air block is where it's this air block is y you know what I mean like like there where that block is there just placed is I'm gonna have a block there and a block with this bit on here and then I didn't should flow down into this and I'll have it like this I can just go just go pick it up and go on my way so yes flip we're out of time pretty much more or less I'll be doing that next episode hopefully Actually, I think about it, I actually need to get some cacti before I go. Cacti is the technical term for multiple cactuses. Cacti -ses. So, yeah. Next time, quest for sand. Wait, 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 we're not, we're, no, oh, no, oh, no, what? No, 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 that's not what I meant to say, that's not what I meant to say, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. I didn't mean to say that at all. I just messed up the entire thing, oh no, 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, I'm just going to drown myself, okay?
Sorry, I messed up the ending. I don't need sand sands right there. Why would I need sand? I need cacti. Die, 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 die,